Hey guys, Ryu here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council with a IRL, which means in real life, Harpy deck. And we're gonna go straight into the entire deck, just like this. Alright, so we have three Chandler, one Pet Dragon, three Harpy Queen, one Cyber Harpy, two Harpy Lady, one, one Harpy Pet Baby Dragon, two Summoner Monk, and two Sacred Crane, and two Miss Valley Falcon. Now let me, mod uh, let me go over the monsters real quick. Sacred Crane is a draw engine, you can special it by Summoner Monk. Call the Haunted or Monster Reborn. <clears throat> you can Miss Valley Falcon the Call of the Haunted, send it back to the graveyard, reset it, and draw again. It's allowing Miss Valley to, you know, work with the entire deck. You can also bounce a Hysteric Sign to get an Elegant Egotist again. And etc. Cedra, etc. Cedra. You know, just so you can get a feel for it. You can just bounce, like, Hysteric Party and get freaking five more Harpies. To give it speed. Um, three Chandler, because three Chandler is God. Uh, the one pet dragon, I own this from the original game, didn't spend 80 bucks, I bought that original poopy game for the PS1, and I got this with it, so, it's been sitting in my binder ever since, I probably play 2, just because I have the rank 7s, except for Dragosack, I'm not going to spend that much, Cyber Harpy Lay, I only have the one, but, with these two, I, I like the ratio right now, <clears throat> the pet baby dragon just in there for extra monster to wind, it can go into the Harpy Exceed, which will go over, and it's got a nifty effect if you can get it off, you know, it, not all the time, but it's it's nifty. I'd probably replace it with a second pet dragon. It's good for toolboxing. Um, Summoner Monk is god of the deck. You can get into Chandler faster to go into the pet dragon to go into rank 7 and have the monk up. Where you just go crane. If I wanted to, I could play chaos like that, but I'm not going to. Let's go into the spells. One Pav Avarice, one Elegant Egotist. You only need one. You'll see why. One Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, Double MST. Uh, Double MST is very important to this deck. I'll explain why. And three Harpies, Hunting Ground, and three Hysteric Signs. Now, the reason the MST and the, the Hunting Ground is at two and three, it allows you to pop that and get the plus. Now, if you send that with Summoner Monk, you're going to get um, a Surge three. Some of the some of the crane, you're going four. So, four straight from the deck. You choose three, you draw the one. That's ridiculous. Or summon harpy, pop, pop the hysteric sign, get three at the end of the turn. You can keep recycling that. These are your main targets that you're gonna do it for, and you just do it with that, so you don't always need it. But mainly, you're running with three just to, to help speed the deck. Two hysteric party, God, I wish I had said a harpy in it. Three Icarus attack, three call the haunted, the call the haunted mostly for sacred crane abuse, Chandler abuse, pet dragon abuse, and double torrental tribute. Now. I really do love that trap lineup. It has served me very, very well. You can see the entire build right there. I'm just going over. Let's go straight into the extra deck. And I'll give reasons why afterwards. Utopia, Cowboy, Malstroke, um, Black Corn, Gem Knight Pearl, Dagusto Emerald, Lava Lol Chain, Diamond Direwolf, Double Lightning Jidori, One Shockmaster, One Harpies, Phantasmal Dragon. I haven't said that too often. One Evil Swarm Oberos, one number 74 Master of Blades, and one Big Eye because I get everything for cheap because I buy it really when people think it's poop. Um, the Big Eye and Master of Blades. Master of Blades is a return one play. I would prefer to play Dragon Sack 90% of the time um, or 50 50 on them, but I'm not going to spend 85 bucks on Dragon Sack. I didn't spend 85 bucks on this guy. I got him for $10. I didn't spend 80 on that. I got that for in the video game. That's my point, so I'm not going to spend that much just to, just to get it because I have high-end cards because I got it for cheap, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, Big Eye is just godly in this deck because if you go into the rank 7 or you recycle it with, I guess, Emerald or Pot of Avarice, which is hiding over here, another great card to the deck because you go through it so fast. Um, this thing wins games, it steals them away. Oberos, I just love Oberos and Shockmaster. I love it. It's Shockmaster. Gem Knight Pearl poops on Ophion. Black Corn just poops on Zen Mains. It can't poop on Fortune Tune, so Fortune Tune is extremely good. Uh, Malstroke, this thing is amazing. I usually don't like it, but it's amazing. Um, the Gaga Cowboy is just dumb. It's dumb in a good way. Utopia is actually pretty good in this deck. It's not too bad. You know, if something better comes along, I'd probably run it. I, I was going to run the, um, the Ice Beast one. The, uh, it's like a, it's a Winged Beast and it's Ice, I can't remember the name. It, like, negates all the effects. I didn't like it in testing. I preferred Utopia. 
double Chidori is godly because just it's like playing Ryza, like playing triple Ryza in a way. Um, this guy, I, I would never run the deck without. Lava Lull Chain is actually funny as hell because if you need a Sacred Crane in the graveyard to start the engine off, you chain it in the graveyard. If you need a Chandler to top of the deck, you chain that motherfucker. Um, I don't really think there's anything else to go over. You target this, it blows stuff up. So, there you go. That's the entire deck. I'm ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. I hope you enjoyed this Harpy build. This is the one you see in the dual videos when I use Harpies and when I play with them and when you battle me online. So if you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more IRL builds, Dev Pro, DN, YGO Pro, any Ken deck builds, and we'll see you then. Peace.